Hello friends, welcome to Tech Dose and in this lecture I will show you uh, what are rules in Prolog. Okay, so I have already written some of the facts uh, for showing you an example. Suppose we want to mention that uh, John likes Peter, John likes Vinny, John likes Nicole, Angelina and so on and so forth. That means uh, let us assume that John likes everyone in our database. Okay, so for mentioning this we will have to write all the facts corresponding to each and every person individually okay so it will be a very tedious task so suppose it has 10 20 or even thousand people then we need to write thousands of lines so it is very tedious so what we can do is that we can define a rule like uh, john likes x if x is a person that means john likes everyone in the in our database because everyone is a person okay so how can we define this so let us see likes john comma x if this symbol is if this symbol which you are seeing as a colon and uh, followed by a hyphen is a if statement okay so john likes x if x is a person person x okay so by writing this line we can avoid writing all these many lines all these thousands of lines we can just avoid it and just we can write it in a single line so this is how rules are very useful rules are actually used to used to uh, describe if statements like suppose uh, we say that x is a bird if x is an animal and x has feathers so this is very true that is x will be bird only if x is an animal because every bird is an animal and it should have feather as well okay so how do we write it in our prolog machine so we can write that is bird x that means x will be a bird if this statement is if if oops if animal x that means if x is an animal and you know that and is a comma and feathers x okay this means that x is a bird if if x is an animal and x has feathers so this is very true now how can we define that whether x is a sister of y or not so we already know that x will be a sister of y only if x is female and x and y have the same parents so the, this one you know obviously so how can we write it in prolog machine so we will write is sister x okay that means x is sister if if female x that means if x is a female and parents x comma m comma f so this one i'm going to explain you parents x comma m comma f that means that means parents of x are m and f m is mother of x and f is father of x okay so parents x comma m comma f means x's parents are m and f that means it's mother and father and we should also consider and parents parents of what y okay okay here we have uh, taken a mistake it should be x comma y okay because x is sister of y okay x is sister of y if x is a female parents of x are m and f and parents of y are also m and f okay here m and f are variables but once it is instantiated in here that means m and f will be replaced by its values in this in this query then the same values will also be applicable for m and f that means it will be replaced here as well and if suppose x is mother is m and father is f then here it should be same as well otherwise it won't succeed okay 
so this is how we can define another rule let us see some more rules suppose now we want to define that john likes x if x likes y that means john likes anyone who likes y okay so how can we write it is likes john comma x that means john likes x if likes x comma y that means x comma y not y it's y that means john likes x if x likes y okay so john likes x if x likes y okay so this is how it is read suppose we take another example that means suppose we say that uh, john likes anyone who likes wine as well as likes food okay that means a person has to like both wine and food in order to be liked by john so how can we write it is likes john comma x if likes x comma wine that means john likes x if x likes wine and so we put a comma likes x comma food that means x should like wine and and x should also like food in order to be liked by john so this was our condition let us see another example of a rule suppose we say that john is a thief so suppose john uh, we want to say that john may still x if john is a thief and john likes x suppose john is a thief okay and he has gone somewhere and he saw and he saw something okay so suppose you know that if john is a thief then he may steal something if he likes it okay so how can you write it is let us see may steal so this is an underscore and this is a single word okay may steal may steal john comma x that means john may steal x if thief john that means if john is a thief and likes john comma x okay so this is the way to write that is john may still x if john is a thief and john likes x so i have shown uh, this on the whiteboard and you can just uh, use a database that means you can create your own databases and then you can type in these queries to see whether it is whether it is working fine or not okay so i will just show you a single program and if you want some more programs to be seen then please comment below and if you have any questions or any types of doubts then please feel free to ask us and in our next video i will show you some examples by typing in our id till then thank you and goodbye